Hey, good day, everybody. This is Fred with One or CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a quick video on Dawa's Smart PSS. Um, we've done previous videos on this product. There's a link above talking about and instructing how to download it from Dawa's website, how to live you and playback and all that type of stuff. And it really is a, a cool tool. We've been using a lot of uh, Dawa product in lieu of the um, USS John McCain Act um, and how Hickvision um, kind of got a black eye from that uh, as far as government facilities using that product and such. Um, so um, we switched to Dawa. And I got to tell you, I'm very impressed with, with everything about Dawa. Um, I like that the uh, equipment can be um, used with any browser, not just old school Explorer with the plugins and stuff like that. But something else I've discovered recently with the Smart PSS is that you can actually connect to your recorder remotely um, using a browser through Smart PSS. It doesn't have to be port forwarded um, at the remote location uh, like HackVision. The recorder just has to be plugged into the internet um, and you need to map it to Smart PSS using P2P. Um, and I find that awesome. Um, so let's get into it. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. There's a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. When you click that, you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you um, and leave comments. Uh, most of these videos are based on subscriber questions or comments. So yeah, the cool thing that you can do with this is if you scroll down to the bottom, um, you'll see a configuration bar and one of the options are device config. And if you click that guy, and I've mapped the location here, Meredith, if you double click on your location, um, the smart PSS will connect um, to your recorder. Um, stick in a second. I don't know why, but it should be doing that for us here in a second. There we go. And when that does it, uh, it will give you an option to do a couple of things. The first thing uh, is upgrade uh, the firmware. But the second thing, the tool I want to talk about is link to web. If you click this button, it is actually going to connect to the recorder remotely um, using um, a web browser. As you can see, the upgrade button also lit up. So there is a firmware upgrade for this recorder. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but I do want to show you the web function because there are some things you can't do remotely with Smart PSS, such as adjusting the time, formatting the hard drive, um, say you want to change your recording uh, settings from continuous recording to, to motion recording. Um, if you can't connect using a browser, um, you'd have to go on location um, and, and do that with a monitor or a computer plugged directly onto, into the NVR or DVR on location. Um, so this is awesome. As you can see, um, Edge just opened. Uh, and look at this. It's, it's used um, smart, smart PSS to log into the recorder using a browser. So I'm going to enter my administrative credentials. And we'll try to sign in. And sure, we can save it. Why not? And as you can see, um, we are logging into the recorder. Um, after a refresh. It is a little bit slower than, um, than when you're on site. Um, but hey, it works. So here we are. Um, if you logged in and you were port forwarded and you logged into your NVR remotely, this is what you'd see. Um, obviously, we still have live view and playback, but we have the, the maintain button here. Okay. And that is where we can do um, a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of maintenance related stuff um, that, again, with heck vision, you'd have to go on site to do. Um, and, and you just click this management tab, right? And we can go to storage here. Um, and if we wanted to format the hard drive, um, we could go into our disk manager, pick the hard drive, uh, format, bada boom, bada bang. Uh, we're not going to do that because that'll wipe out the data on it, and that would be bad. We talked about record mode. Um, actually, it's in schedule, folks. If you go up to schedule, um, you can see these cameras are set up for general recording. Um, you can see the green is general. Now, general recording is 24-7. Um, this client likes that, so they don't miss anything. If we want to switch it to motion recording, um, the recorder would actually only record data uh, when there's movement. So it makes it easier to find, say, a vehicle that comes on your property. Instead of watching 24 or 48 hours of video to find that vehicle, um, the recorder is just going to queue up 
uh, motion. So if you want to change that, you can just go into setting. Um, as you can see, general is clicked right now. If I wanted to change that to motion, I'd unclick general, click motion, click all days, hit OK. okay. And as you see, the green um, changes to yellow, um, which is motion. And then you would just hit OK. All right. We do not want to do that on our customer. And no, we don't. They would be unhappy. So let's go back to general recording. And we'll go green again. And there we go. Um, so, yeah, the other thing that um, that's cool that you can do is the time. And that's in the system settings. You can also change the password uh, under account. Um, you can do security scans here to make sure your device is... Uh, the status is secure, um, which again, this Hick Vision doesn't have any of this stuff, but you can sc scan to make sure everything's up to date. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go back again, account, you can change your password. Let's go into system though, uh, and that's where you change your time, folks. Um, date and time, when you sync with PC, um, you can change your time zone or Eastern time. Uh, there you go, 709, hit OK, and you're all set. Um, like I said, you can also do live view um, using the browser, um, much like you would, um, much like you would with the uh, Smart PSS. I'm trying to figure out how you do that. Not this. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if I guess we gotta log out back in, right? I'm making myself look silly in front of you guys, but it's all right. We look silly together. <coughs> what I want to show you is that you can do live view using the browser as well, um, right there. Okay. And uh, if we wanted to look at the fuel up, it's night here. It's probably dark. Uh, we can pull it up. And there it is. Okay. Pretty good night vision. Nice out there on the lake. All right. Um, that's the video. Again, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And, and give us some likes if the content was useful. Uh, again, I really like this Dower product. I'm impressed with the quality. I'm impressed with the end user functionality with, with the different browsers and without plugins. And, and I really think this tool is awesome. Owning a business, this is going to save me a lot of time because um, oftentimes we do not port forward the NVRs at client locations. Um, and you can't do this type of stuff with HIK Connect or the IBMS 4200 or 4500 that, uh, that HackVision happens to have. So I highly recommend DAWA. Um, they don't pay me. I'm not a DAWA dealer. Um, just being honest with you folks, you're my subscribers. Give this, uh, give the stuff a try. It's it's high quality. All right. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.